Hello everyone. Today we are going to see incidence matrix for undirected graph. Here we have this graph G with three vertices and five edges. For this we have to represent incidence matrix. So for this here we have let if we have graph G with n vertices v1, v2 up to vn and m edges. E1, E2 up to Em, then incidence matrix of graph G is this is Aij matrix of order this n by m, where n is the vertices and m is the edges. Now this element Aij are here respectively 0, 1 and 2 here, right? So when this Aij is 0, when this vertex Vi is not incident with any edge, then Aij is 1, when this vertex Vi is incident with He and this Aij is here 2, when this edge Eij is loop at any vertex, right? So here we have to represent this graph as an incidence matrix. Now this incidence matrix is the matrix of order n by m n is the number of vertices and m is the number of edges that means this a i j is a matrix of order here this is how many vertices here this is three vertices and five edges right so this is here three is here vertices 3 number of vertices and 5 is here ages right so we will represent this now as a incidence matrix so for this here first we will write here this is v1 v2 v3 these are the number of rows and next here we will write this total ages this is e1 e2 e3 e4 and e5 these are the columns of this matrix so this matrix is of order here this is 3 by 5 okay so here we have to find all these elements here so first we will find this first element so how to find here we have to check whether this vertex v1 is incident on edge e1 or not so we can check that here Vertex E1 is incident on this edge E1. So we will write here this is 1. Next, v vertex V1 is incident with this is here edge E2. Then we will write here 1. Now vertex V1 is not incident with E3. Right. So we will write here 0. Then E4. Yes, V1 is not incident with E4. So this is 0. V1 is incident with edge E5. So we will write here this one okay next we have to check vertex v2 vertex v2 is here we have now on this vertex v2 here this a1 is incident so we'll write one then e2 is incident h e2 so we'll write one now e3 so this is a loop here so we have to write two here right so this is by this one here when we have loop at any vertex, we have, we have to write 2. Now, E4 is incident on this V2, so we will write here 1. E5 is not incident, so we will write here 0. Now, we will check about vertex V3. So, V3 is incident on this E5 and E4. Other are here 0. E5 and E4, so here we will write this 1 and this 1. So this is here incidence matrix for this graph, right? So here we have to remember that incidence matrix is between this is vertices and edges. So these are the vertices which we have written here in row and these edges are in this here column. So this is the required incidence matrix for this graph. Yes, thank you.